dear friends before i start today's topic that is forensic psychology of effect on judicial thinking of liberalized liberalized common man ethics which is a disastrous evil in itself for the human society to justify it i refer to bhagavad gita chapter 1 shloka 40 41 42 and 43 this is a question asked by arjun to krishna at the end of the first chapter when he has laid down his bow and arrow and started arguing that why should i fight this war krishna begins with and at the end of first adhyay first chapter he asks him कुलक्षे प्राणश्यति कुलधर्मा सनातन धर्मे नष्टे कुलम कृष्टमघो अभिव्यक्ति ए कृष्ण दिस वर्ल्ड लास्ट एज वेल एज कुल इज लास्टिंग and kulam is the family kul is family and second shloka he says at dharma abhiva vina bhivat krishna pradushyanti kul istriya इस्त्याशु दुष्टाशु वार्षणे जायते वर्णशंकर राइट क्वेश्चन ऑल आउट वेन दिस कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ फैमिली इज विशिएटेड द वुमेन ऑफ द कुल ऑफ द फैमिली बिकम्स भ्रष्ट means she breaks the bounds of family she have extramarital relationships and when there are extramarital relationship the varun sankar the illegitimate children are born in the family and then he says sankaro narakaiva kulagna kulasya cha patanti pitro vesha lupta pindadok kriya a illegitimate child cannot perform the karma kanda the post death religious formalities without which as per hindu belief person is not liberated from life from his papam from his good or bad things done in this life hey krishna 
दोषरे ते कुलंघना वन संक्रांति उत्सव आदंत्य जाति धर्म कुल धर्मास श्राश्वत है वेर द फैमिली इज करप्टेड वेर द वुमेन इज करप्टेड द फैमिली इज करप्टेड where the family is corrected there are one sankras means illegitimate children where there illegitimate children are there all value system of the society disappears and the result is the entire society entire nation entire race will disappear nobody can stop it from disappearing getting destroyed that what arjuna asks krishna in the at the end of first chapter of the bhagavad gita now i talk the forensic psychological effect on judicial thinking of the modern liberalized common man ethics which is a disastrous evil referring the supreme court judgment which struck down the adultery law under section 497 IPC Indian Penal Code The court in this case held that the rationale behind the non prosecution of women in case of adultery was to protect the sanctity of marriage and in turn promoted the social good It was a shield rather than a sword and it gave the couple a chance to make up therefore the court held that adultery law does not infringe on anybody's constitutional rights and hence it was completely valid section 4997 of the indian penal code gave a husband the exclusive right to prosecute the person with whom the wife committed the adultery by indulging in sexual intercourse with him the husband can also file for divorce against his adulterous wife on ground of adultery however a similar right was similar right was not conferred to wife to prosecute the woman with whom her husband has committed adultery secondly the provision did not confer any right on the wife of and on the wife to prosecute her husband for adultery this is however one perspective of looking at this provision the second perspective is that this section punishes sexual intercourse of a man with the married woman without the consent of her husband however in case there is a sexual intercourse of a man with a unmarried woman with her consent or with a married woman with the consent of her husband then the man cannot be liable for adultery what is crucial to this perspective is that the section does not provide any punishment for the unfaithful wife and only provides for the punishment to the man who indulges in sexual intercourse with the married woman in a case joseph shain versus union of india 2018 In this case the petitioner contended that criminal law should be used only as the last method of social control 
and it should not be used to check or control private morality or immorality center on the other hand argued that adultery is an in- intentional action which impinges on the sexual fidelity and sanctity of the marriage it is an action knowingly and willingly done with the full knowledge that it would hurt the family the children and the spouse after hearing both the sides the supreme court in a bench headed by the then chief justice of india deepak mishra pronounced that section 497 of indian penal code is unconstitutional and hence struck it down the court held that the provision was based on gender stereotypes and hence violated article 14 equal protection of the law and article 50 15 non discrimination on grounds of sex of the indian constitution the court also struck down section 198 subsection 2 of the criminal procedure code which allowed a husband to bring charges against the man with whom his wife was committing the crime of adultery the court also held that for adultery to be termed as a criminal offense it is essential that one of the spouses committed suicide in the course of the event to which case the other spouse would be made liable for abatement to suicide under section 306 of apc chief justice deepak mishra while pronouncing the judgment observed that any provision asserting husband is the matter of is a master of the wife and treating women with inequality cannot be considered constitution constitutional responding to the question of consent cji mishra observed that in case of absence of consent of the married woman it amounts to rape on the contrary if the sexual intercourse is done with the consent of both the adults then the act fails to qualify the test of the of an offense justice indu malhotra while reading the judgment observed that Section 497 institutionalizes discrimination and therefore such a provision needs to be struck down further supreme court of the was of the opinion in one of the judgment and uh, where they said that it is granted under section 21 of the indian constitution and decision of supreme court was, was lauded by all the ju- mains media and told that now it was further supported uh, by the past judgment by justice chandrachud and who has also said that same almost same thing which or supporting the same thing which was already said in judgment the point is here then the question is is i said while stating bhagavad gita that if the society is to survive it has to survive on its basic unit of family this is the basic unit you know, of one family family was created which was product of the empathy which is the basic basic nature of the human beings normal human beings the people who don't lack it who lack in empathy those only go for adultery and all that what we call it as a narcissism they are, they do not fall within the normal limits of the psychological limits of a human being if they are engaged in adultery or they are dishonest to their partner rather dishonesty in honesty in any manner is not considered is not a part of the normal human psychology 
सो इट इज प्रज्यूम्ड इन मेरिज दैट वाई विल बी डेडिकेटेड टू द हस्बैंड इफ ही शी इज नॉट दैट शी इज वायलेटिंग द इंस्टीट्यूशन ऑफ फैमिली विच इज बिगेस्ट क्राइम बिकॉज इन सोसाइटी एस एड इन गीता वेन द इलिजिटिमेसी कम्स द फैमिली गल डिस्ट्रॉय आई एम फॉर्म ओपिनियन दैट इफ सम वाइफ इज एडल्ट्रस दिस मैन नॉट मैन कैन नॉट बी हैप्पी इन हिज इंटायर लाइफ इफ ही इज ए नॉर्मल पर्सन इफ ही हिमसेल्फ इज ए नॉर्मल नार्सिसिस्ट और साइकोपैथ और सोशियोपैथ और समथिंग लाइक दैट there are ten kind of uh, personality disorders if he belongs to one kind of them then probably he may be happy and if we go on observing or ordering these kind of things and demolishing the earlier existed social facts which were very much indian then slowly slowly the society will disintegrate it has already disintegrated in the developed world and it will disintegrate in india also which has been surviving for 5000 years our ancestors have taken 5000 years to construct this society one or two abnormalities does occur because i told you there are 10 kinds of abnormal abnormal personalities existing within human beings they are different kind of people they are not normal people they are talked about in indian literature very nicely and they were dealt also very appropriately but when these people start dominating the society when the illegitimacy or varun sankras are there in the society they will try to justify them and when they reach to the positions where they can decide the policy matters they will make policies all favoring him legitimizing them and that what has actually happened after world war 2 because after world war 2 the large number of illegitimacy was there that what destroyed and now the white race is at extinction simply because of this decision because finally this destroyed the institution of family somebody will go for the living relations and will go for other kind of a, people will invent 100 types of types of alternative to fulfill their sexual desire who will enter into family who will produce children already this is a problem and issue no baby babies in white race they are at the, they are the extinction mode and probably our judges too want to take india why we should be left behind we should enter into the extinction mode the family control or control of the children's production to certain extent is right but beyond that adopting these kind of procedures will destroy the social fabric a basic social fabric and why this is occurring this is occurring because of the psychological effect of the western reason because values are being imported to india from the western hemisphere of the world or the white race and there whatever they say we say it's okay before 1946 or 5 there was no talk of human rights it was post war creation of the human rights equality and all that and before that world existed very happily we existed in as a nation for good 5000 years and this newly invented value system was as a compulsion on the european society because of the most destructive first and second wars but why we should pay for that those who who are paid and they are paying and they are regretting and they are trying to reverse the revert the reverse the cycle 
but it's very difficult and i am sure they are intelligent they will be able to reverse the cycle but we are caught in that cycle and that cycle is affecting everybody not judiciary it is affecting politicians judiciary education system social system our entertainment entertainment industry and everything and is taking us very far away from our own 5000 years old continuous civilization thank you very much